Compactor Bofan Engine Preface Concept for Engine Type Pegasus Skodenberg September 22, 2000 Jet Engine is an aircraft engine, which accelerate the inflow air to higher velocity and spray out it backward. In this way a reaction craft appear which drive the airplane forward or upward. The used jet engine in aircraft is a development of gas turbine engine. The jet engine prefers supply its power from the air, but it is not as like as a rocket motor in space. In order to minimize the noise from jet propulsion and also decrease the fuel consumption the ordinary jet motor, which exist in earlier version has been replaced with double flow motors and fan jet motors. In order to decrease the fuel consumption with further 20% to 30% some proofs have been done with shaft fan jet motors, which have one or two multiplex propeller blade or rotating fan on the motors outside. In order to decrease the energy loss specially uses 70% to 80% the noise energy I have used an exchanger by which you can turn the noise energy to the electrical energy. This exchanger is coupled to the DC motor and charge that motor. Definition and Introduction This type of engine is as the same as the other engine. The difference is in its size and few changes in its steering. It is the production of high-pressure high-temperature steam involves the installation of bulky and expensive steam generating equipment, whether it is a conventional boiler or a nuclear reactor. The significant feature is that the hot gases produced in the boiler furnace or reactor core never reach the turbine, they are merely used indirectly to produce an intermediate fluid, namely steam. A MCSH more compact power plant results when the water to steam step of eliminated and the hot gases themselves are used to drive the turbine. In order to produce an expansion through a turbine a pressure ratio must be provided and the first necessary step in the cycle of a gas turbine plant must therefore be compression of the working fluid. If after compression the working fluid was to be expanded directly in the turbine, and there were no losses in either component, the power developed by the turbine would just equal that absorbed by the compressor. Thus if the two were coupled together the combination would do no more than turn itself round. But the power developed by the turbine can be increased by the addition of energy to raise the temperature of the working fluid prior to expansion. When the working fluid is air a very suitable means of doing this is by combustion of fuel in the air which has been compressed. Expansion of the hot working fluid then produces a greater power output from the turbine, so that it is able to provide a useful output in addition to driving the compressor. Further addition of fuel will result in a useful power output, although for a given flow of air there is a limit to the rate at which fuel can be supplied and therefore to the net power output. The working temperature of the highly stressed turbine blades which temperature must not be allowed to exceed a certain critical value, governs the maximum fuel, air ratio that may be used. This value depends upon the creep strength of the materials used in the construction of the turbine and the working life required. These then are the two main factors affecting the performance of gas turbines, component efficiencies and turbine working temperature. The higher they can be made the better the all-round performance of the plant. It has been shown that the overall efficiency of the gas turbine cycle depends also upon the pressure ratio of the compressor, 